Hi everyone and welcome back. I haven't done this video in a couple of months, so I wanted to share a what's new in my wardrobe with you all. And full disclosure, this might be one of the most boring videos ever because I don't know about you guys, but shopping in the dead of winter is just not very fun. I It's like too soon to shop for spring, summer, and I don't know, when it's so freezing cold, it's even challenging to dress cute with sweaters and coats and things. So I always get in a little bit of a rut, but I did pick up some interesting pieces that you all may like, starting with this dress by, that was a drum roll, <laughs> Frankie Shop. I love Frankie Shop. I've done a whole video about my whole Frankie Shop collection. So you can see a lot of the different pieces that I own from Frankie Shop. Surprisingly, this dress is actually still in stock, so you can still get it. That's a rarity for Frankie Shop. Normally things sell out like that, but I love this dress. It's got their signature kind of shoulder pads. It's got a nice high neck. It's a knit dress, so it's warm and cozy. It's oversized, and I just think it looks so cute. I wore it in LA when it was a little bit chillier out there with my Jimmy Choo boots these boots you could wear them with tights if you needed a little bit of extra warmth i also think it looks really good with my jimmy Choo mules and my little bottega bag just really like clean modern accessories i think look so great with this dress and i love the versatility of it too i could wear it to you know an art fair when i'm trying to dress up i can wear it out to dinner i can wear this to work i'm gonna go on a work trip to toronto and i will definitely be wearing this because it's still cold up there so i just like yeah how many different occasions you can kind of wear this for and i just think it's a very sleek modern classic piece that i'm hopefully going to have in my wardrobe for a really long time so i'm still very happy with this purchase and i've worn it a ton ever since getting it and just for clarity my last video kind of covered things that i bought november-ish through december so these are all things that i bought january february and march and there's one item that i left out but that's because i'm going to do a special review video about it because it is a really high-end sort of designer piece that i wanted to walk you all through okay my next piece ironically i actually mentioned in my last what's in my wardrobe video and it's this Because of Alice boucle dress. And I mentioned it in that video because I was really disappointed that it was sold out and it came back in stock. So I actually purchased this back in January. I did wear it in Mexico City. I'll show it styled up in a more sort of winter way. I will say I'm getting a little bit more wear out of this than I thought I would just because of something I didn't realize how short this was. This is a very, very short dress. I still don't know if I would feel comfortable wearing it as like just a blazer dress. I'll style it up so you can like see how short it is, but I have pretty short legs. So the fact that this is short on me, that's kind of saying something. But in Mexico City, I wore this when it was really cold with a turtleneck and some black trousers and heels. And then I had this belted over it. So that was kind of a really fun, like oversized, business casual us kind of look. I think this would be really adorable with some black booties and some black tights and then a little black shirt underneath for a more like formal kind of nighttime outfit. And then I think for spring, I would ditch all of the black undergarments. I'd still probably put a little tank top under it or something and maybe some bicycle shorts just because it is really short. <laughs> so Definitely looking forward to how I can style this up in the spring, but I do like the fact that it can either just be a full-blown oversized kind of boyfriend blazer and you can take off the belt, or it can be a really sexy feminine shape where you belt it and it has kind of this kimono style look to it. So I am really happy that I bought this. I will say the fabric isn't as great as I was hoping it to be. Let me show you it up close. It's not cheap looking, but it's not as like luscious of a boucle that I thought it was going to be. So, which I guess is probably more flattering than if you had a lot of like extra sort of puff on you, but 
yeah, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I haven't gotten to wear it as much as I like, but I think come spring, once it gets a little bit warmer, I'm gonna be getting more wear out of this, hopefully. And hopefully it's still in stock for you guys as well. All right, the next pair of pants, I will fully admit, was a little bit of an impulse purchase. I haven't worn them yet, so I don't honestly know how I feel about them. These are pants from, does it say? I think it's called like Wolf and Badger. And it's kind of like an online aggregator of different independent designers and companies. And yeah, so it's sort of like a net-a-porter, but for more like emerging designers. So this was a Romanian designer. It's called Bluzat, B-L-U-Z-A-T. And I'll leave their Instagram and stuff as well. Cute. It's just, I'm just trying to figure out the right way to style this. So I'm actually glad I'm putting this video together because this will help me kind of play around with it. It's essentially a pair of trousers with a bit of like a maxi skirt layered over it. And so it does have a more sort of like formal flair to it. And I think that's why I've been having trouble finding reasons to wear this because I haven't been, really been like going out and about <laughs> in the dead of winter. But I do have some events coming up in the next few months that I think these will be really fun to wear it to. It's kind of like a fun play on sort of like a business casual look, but then you add the skirt. I don't know, I just like having sort of layers to make pieces more interesting. Because there's a lot going on on the bottom, I would definitely try to keep this really clean and classic with just like a black top, maybe a tight fitting black top. And yeah, just keep everything super clean. I think my little Jimmy Choo booties or mules and like a nice bag. It could be fun with a jacket, but I think I would need like a cropped or like a shorter jacket just so I'm not like drowning myself in long layers. I do have this sort of a leather jacket that I could wear with it. Let me play around with it, see if I can make it more casual. I wonder if I put like little converses and a leather jacket with it, if that would look interesting or if it would just look like I'm, I don't know. I don't know, we'll play around with it and let me know what you think, but I've been seeing it all over Instagram and I just bought the bullet, it was, bought the bullet, I bit the bullet and I bought the pants because they were also on sale, but I don't know, this might have been a mistake, we'll see. And that's kind of it for like clothing, clothing. I will say I'm trying to purchase less clothing, even though I definitely just placed a really huge dish order, so I will be showing you guys that for spring and summer. But I'm really trying to be more intentional about the things that I'm buying and actually like writing a list out and keeping track of what I'm buying and like why I'm buying it. So other than the green pants, I think I did a pretty good job considering this is about three months worth of stuff. Where I didn't do such a good job, that Kim Kardashian, I swear, she gets me every time. Think what you want about her, but I love Skims. I love Skims so much. I did a video really early on in my YouTube about it and I love their bras, I love their undergarments, and I love their loungewear. So she launched, that's another thing I think is cool, she launches new collections every like three weeks or so. I just bought some swimsuits from uh, Skim Swim, which is super exciting, so I'll definitely be sharing that with you guys, but this was a drop called the Boyfriend Collection. And essentially it consists of unisex sort of things like these boxers and muscle tanks and long sleeve tees. Honestly, just the softest, sweetest jersey fabric you can think of. And I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, those are the basics. Always looking for just a good quality, comfortable t-shirt, frankly. Like I work from home, I hang out in the house a lot. These I've been wearing nonstop. So I've definitely been getting a ton of wear out of them. I went for neutrals, mm, shocker. I went for this, uh, they call it like stone. It's not really a black, it's like a blacky gray kind of color. But I went for a short sleeved t-shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt in this, as well as this kind of muscle tank for summer. I really like a muscle tank. I think it's a very flattering look to have like a high neck and then show off my arms. I love these boxer shorts, even though I really don't think these are flattering on me at all. <laughs> I don't know. I have, uh, once again, I have very short legs. And so I just feel like the proportions are very strange on my body when I wear them, but I do find them 
very comfortable. So I love wearing these around the house, despite the fact that they're not very cute on me. And I did get this little cream t-shirt. I honestly was hoping this would be a little more white. It's nice, I guess, to have a cream t-shirt, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna be able to wear this or what I'm gonna be able to wear it with. I mean, obviously I'm gonna be able to wear it with a lot of stuff, but we shall see. Regardless, it feels absolutely incredible. And honestly, I probably wear one, at least one of these pieces every single day. So big, big fan of this. Uh, I won't really style them up. I'll just kind of try to show you guys little clips of each of them because frankly, I'm not really styling them up. I'm just wearing them around the house. But, and I, I would say that you can still get them, but you can really only get a couple of the shirts. So one downside is that things sell out very quickly when she launches something. So I definitely grabbed it right when it launched and everything was pretty much gone after that. I think there are still a couple of shirts that I will link below, but oh, it's just, it's so nice. I hope that she'll restock and I hope she'll restock in like a black black. I would really, really appreciate that. That would be fantastic. And then my final purchase, which is something Technically, I bought this. No, I did buy them in January. I was going to say, I thought I bought them in December, but I bought these shoes from Aloha's, which is another brand that I have a whole video on, which I will share with you all. But Aloha's is a great company that is really striving to be more sustainable in the fact that they do a lot of pre orders. So they'll give you a discount if you order an item two, three months in advance. The more in advance you order, the bigger the discount you get. And so I ordered these in January and then they shipped uh, about a month later and I love them. <laughs> I was really going back and forth for a long time because to be perfectly honest, I'm not like a big fan of like knockoff kind of stuff. And Aloha's does a good job of knockoff in the sense of like they get inspiration from a particular design or brand and then they sort of make a different version of that. I don't love it when it's like too obvious, but they do a good job where it's more like inspired by as opposed to being like a straight up knockoff of something. So these are definitely inspired by the JW Anderson mules. I'll try to insert a little picture of it so you know. So I looked, I looked at those, I did, and I was like, you know, I think these were like $200 and like, well, like $300 more, I could get the JW Anderson. But honestly, at the end of the day, I felt like the JW Andersons were just too much for my feet. I have really big feet and I think this is a large enough chain. I didn't need this like insanely huge chain to just add more volume and dimension to my already massive feet. So I felt like these were a great option. I'm obsessed with a mule. I just think they're so comfortable. They're so easy to put on slip on and off when you're leaving the house quickly. This definitely has like a Birkenstock S feel to it. So they're extremely comfortable. So I am loving these. I'm considering purchasing these in the tan color for spring and summer, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to get the right like nude color. So I'm definitely on the hunt for some like summer slides. But anyway, this is like the final purchase and very happy with this one as well. So overall, I think I did pretty well and Although this wasn't the most exciting haul of clothes per se, I think there's a lot of exciting things to come in spring and summer. So if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and stay tuned. I try to put out videos every week. And like I said, I've got some really exciting stuff coming up. I've placed a lot of great orders. So I will see you all in those videos.